top ongoing projects in Namibia. Hello Displorers, welcome back to another informative video presented to you by Displo and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall preview the top ongoing construction projects in Namibia. Namibia's economy is essentially based in the market sector, producing most of the country's wealth and the traditional subsistence sector. The World Bank estimated the population to be 2.495 million with a nominal GDP of $14.368 billion as of 2019, which is a huge drop from 2018's record of $27.505 billion. Although the country has more than 200,000 skilled workers and a considerable number of well-trained professionals, Namibia still plays around a higher middle-income earning potential. Just like many African countries, Namibia has embarked on massive construction projects which makes the country very desirable for investors and tourists. Since 2015, the Ministry of Finance had issued a bill for construction projects worth $218 million and engaged into partnership with Angola and China to carry out construction projects. So buckle up as we bring you the top ongoing projects in Namibia in no particular order. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 1. Bain's Hydroelectric Power Station, $1.2 billion US dollars. Starting off on a list of top ongoing construction projects in Namibia is the giant Bain's Hydroelectric Power Station. It is located across the Kunene River in the Kunene region of Namibia and is fostered by the tutelage of Nampa, the main operator. Prior to 2005, Nampa, the main electricity supply power state in Namibia, signed a joint agreement with South Africa's ESCOM for the construction of a hydroelectric power plant. However, the project failed due to South Africa's shortage in power supply. Recently, the governments of Angola and Namibia have jointly embarked on building a 600 megawatts power station and sharing the energy equally. This power plant is sited approximately 200 kilometers downstream of the Ruakana hydroelectric power station at the international border with Angola. The plant is set at the foothills of Bains Mountains, approximately 750 kilometers by road northwest of Windhoek, the capital and largest city of Namibia. The construction budget has been calculated at 1.2 billion US dollars and phase 1 of the construction is planned to start in 2021 and end with the last phase in 2025. Upon completion, both parts are expected to utilize 300 megawatts each of the energy and that sounds more like a fair cut considering they both put in equal efforts. Things went pretty well for arrangement and then came April 2020 when the timeline was pushed back due to COVID-19 and some technical issues with construction scheduled to restart in 2023 and commissioning in 2029. Number 2. Big Infrastructure Investments Spearheaded by Powercom, it was earlier announced that plans of investing in infrastructure across the country for 2020 would commence already, with 19 towers that have been identified in the Komas, Hadap, Irongo, Ododonjupa, and the northern regions of Namibia. Currently, in its first phase, infrastructure investments had begun in January 2020 for Wavis Bay Harbour, Wavis Bay Golf Course, Wavis Bay EXT-17, Rehoboth, Swakopi Road, and H Heights, which envisaged commissioning by the end of March 2020. The latter part of the year saw this project still in its first phase. Two envisaged phases totaling 28 infrastructure investment projects have been scheduled as part of the Powercom's strategy to expand its tower base countrywide. Erongo receives the most towers, 11, costing over 11 million Namibian dollars, while Commerce receives 5, 5.6 million Namibian dollars. Karas is slated to receive the three towers. 886,000 Namibian dollars, while Hadab Oshikoto, Odonjon Tupa, and Kunene will receive two each, and finally, Omusati will get one tower. Thus, the capital expenditure for 2020's financial year amounted to 24 million Namibian dollars for investments across 19 towers, which is currently ongoing. It's a sure fact that these projects, when completed, would drastically change the economic and development indexes across Namibia. Number 3. Namibia Botswana 5000 megawatt power solar photovoltaic mega project. Namibian Minister for Mines and Energy Tom Alwindo shared with Bloomberg some updates on Namibia and Botswana plans to develop a 5 gigawatt solar energy capacity. The two neighboring southern African countries are on the verge of developing one, if not the largest, solar photovoltaic project on the African continent. Such an ambitious project is set to take advantage of their favorable environment to produce 5000 megawatt power of solar energy. Financial institutions such as the African Development Bank, the World Bank and the International Renewable Energy Agency IRENA, are members of the Global Future Councils involved in sponsoring this project. This mega project provides for building both photovoltaic and concentrated solar power plants 
implemented in several phases. The first could be the subject of a call for tenders for a 300 to 500 megawatt plant to meet the domestic demand of both countries. A second stage is planned to produce between 500 and 1000 megawatt of electrical energy. A third and final phase will build solar parks that will supply 1000 to 3000 megawatts. Though conceived in 2019, talks are still currently ongoing as to the budgets to be allocated for the project, which when completed will serve the Namibian population by 2022. Number 4. Oil and Gas Kudu Gas Field Here is another major ongoing project in Namibia. The Kudu Gas Fields lie approximately 170 km west of Orange Mund, offshore Namibia, in water depths of 170 meters. It's estimated that Kudu Gas Fields have natural gas reserves at 1.3 trillion cubic feet, with possible reserves at 9 trillion cubic feet. The offshore partners in the Kudu Gas Fields Block 2814A at the National Petroleum Corporation of Namibia, Namcor, with 44% and BW Offshore with 56% as the operator. The resources obtained from these fields could play an important part in helping Namibia's energy transition. The One Kudu solution suggests two wells on the offshore gas field would supply 62 million cubic feet per day and generate as much as 475 megawatts of power. There is yet another scope of additional supply from the field which could feed a small scale LNG facility. Gas consumption in Namibia would come from power generation but also go to fueling heavy vehicles. Namibia has until recently been largely overlooked by the oil majors. A spate of farming agreements over the last six months suggests that this is changing. International oil companies are keen to secure a stake in the Southern African oil boom should one materialize. Both the upstream and the downstream stakeholders and industry players, mainly Arshas OMV and Murphy Oil Corporation from Arkansas, have submitted their input for consideration with regards to undertaking the project. The intended reforms to the petroleum legal regime are expected to be completed in the second half of 2021. There you have it, explorers. Those are the top ongoing construction projects in Namibia. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy this video, do watch to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.